Hello everybody, welcome back to part three of Hive Swap. Whoop. And we're back. Okay. So uh this is the uh so this is the third type. This is the uh third part if you are watching this on YouTube. Um we have just been going straight through for like about four hours now. Um and this is now part three. Um which you're beginning. Um I am having a uh I'm having a lot of fun with this. Like Something I'm going to do, like, as soon as I finish this game is I really want to see a non-Homestuck play this. Because I am really curious to see what somebody who's never read Homestuck makes of all of this. Like, I heard Jack Septicai played this, um, like, when it first came out. And that was his first introduction to Homestuck. I don't know if he ever followed up on that. If he ever went back and read Homestuck after playing Hive Swap. But I heard that that was a thing. Like, I did hear about that being the thing that happened when this game first came out. So if you know of any other good uh, Let's Players who, uh, non-Homestuck Let's Plays of this, uh, of this uh, video game, you know, hit them up. You know, like, you know, send, you know, send a link to them uh, over on my uh, Tumblr uh, and uh, Cricks will uh, filter them uh, when it is time for that. Yes, Jack Septicai played it. So, um, yes, pe people have. We can link you after. Yeah, yes. Everybody in chat is like, yes. Watch the Jack Septicai video. Yes, I. It's. I am very curious to see what the non-homestuck perspective is on this game, because statistically speaking, well, it's like hard to say. It's like I. I do wonder just. How many people and how many non-homestuck people would even pick this up? You know, I mean, I imagine some people probably did just because of Jacksepticeye, because like, let's players, let's players of Jacksepticeye's caliber do sell games, so I think so. There probably are a bunch of you know Jacksepticeye fans who played this game on their own. But anyway, I digress. Um, <sighs> excuse me. So other things I'm just looking at the So I'm looking at this background here some more. And a couple things I noticed during the break is uh, there's uh, this billboard by this bus stop looking thing. I've got another troll which may or may not be foreshadowing something. Um, can we link that let's play? Not yet. I'm not going to uh, I'm not going I don't want to watch any let's plays until after I've finished my playthrough. But yeah, once I finish this game, completely finish the game, then I will be going back and watching Jacksepticeye's Let's Play, um, and any others, if there are others. Um, so I noticed this uh, billboard over here on this bus stop looking thing. It's probably not called a bus, it's probably called like a, you know, rolling group transport or some other fun troll word for it. And also there appears to be like a pull Sticking out of Damek's door. So I wonder what that's all about. Anyway, let's proceed to play the game uh, with Xerox here. Uh, got the 16 window, or got the 12 by 12 window, and we have a package. Look. It's a delivery from Scathian with the item you ordered. It's another troll title. Uh, you ordered uh, quite a long time ago. You guessed it arrived during all the confusion. Um, so that's another thing I've been thinking about. Um, so I'm sticking with my guess that the heiress is Mina. But, uh, that begs the question then of are there other adults around? Because if you're, those of you who are up on your troll history <laughs> may remember that, uh, the Summoner's Rebellion is what, uh, caused, uh, her Imperial Condescension. Excuse me, I've been talking for like three hours. Um, her Imperial Condescension um, turned Alternia into a planet full of children after uh, the Summoner's uh, Rebellion in order to keep adult trolls uh, from rebelling against her by having all of them out conquering worlds. Um, so, so that's the question. So that would be another big indication of whether or not the heiress could be Mina is if we see adult uh, trolls around. So far we haven't, but that doesn't really necessarily mean anything. Um, anyway, so there and 
Scathian is another uh, eight name troll, so it's clearly a troll with a title. Um, but uh, the Scathians were the tribe that inspired the original Amazon myth. Oh, cool. So I'm guessing Scathian is uh, a lady, and probably a badass lady at that. <laughs> so uh, good to know. I'm not going to call that a spoiler, um, because that's just using real-world knowledge to make real-world knowledge that I didn't happen to have uh, to uh, make an educated guess about what uh, Scathian is like. Um, so that's interesting. Um, somebody in chat just informed me that, Sca that the Scathian tribe inspired the legend of the Amazon warriors. Um, so, that, so that may be a hint as to what the Scathian's character is like, should we meet them. Or probably her much later. Uh, ba -ba. Or Scathy is the Alternian equivalent of Amazon? Whatever. You open up the patches, inside is the FLARP manual. <laughs> this edition of FLARP is focused on spy games, intrigue, and rebellion. Tetriarch de Mac modeled a lot of his underground resistance ideas after this system. Okay, and you have Telekinesis. As per what? Tetriarch de Max says you are really infrequent and unreliable. Omni Scuttle Coach schedule is. Uh, Omni Scuttle Coach. So that's the name for the bus on Alternia. Is. Sip. Sip. Uh, de Max says you are really infrequent and unreliable. Omni Scuttle Coach schedule is system symptomatic of an infrastructural engineer to prevent cast mobility. And since you nod while he says it, he hasn't explained what that means. I know what that means, uh, but we're not gonna we're, we're gonna keep the politics away from this for now, even alternative politics. What does this button do? It doesn't seem to actually do anything. Tetract to Max Hive. You hope he's in one of the parts that haven't been in the island. Like you click on it and it gives you the eyeball, but then you just look around, and you don't need to use the eyeball to click on things anyway. So what's the point of it? I don't know. Maybe it's just there to tell you who you're playing as, but there's only ever one character on screen. Of course you're playing the one character. Anyway, whatever. Whatever, it's weird. You're a respite block. Where you sleep, you're standing in your gander precipice. Enter. Interesting music. Okay, that volume looks a little loud on the, uh, on the OBS filter. Should I turn that down a bit? <laughs> it feel, it's, it's loud in my headphones, I can tell you that much. Okay. Not loud at all, I mean, that, okay, good, perfect. Um, really? Really with the billiards? Dang it. Okay, well, let's, uh, let me just view, let's, okay, big picture, let's view the room. So, um, a lot of billiards, which, uh, has me worried. Got a calendar. Let's see what day is it on the calendar? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tenth or ninth or tenth? Looks like it's ninth or tenth, depending on when, depending on if he uh, X's out dates at the beginning or end of the day. I mean, it looks like the ninth. Uh, some kind of sports star. Books. Utensils. Some description. Oh, he's been bending spoons. Cute. Um, cutlery. He's been practicing cutlery, origami, place setting, some kind of book, looks like a manual of some description, some books, some outfits, all of which have his, uh, his sign on them. Um, the helmet, looks like he's playing, like, rugby or something similar. This track is fire, you should be cranking it up. It is a good track. I don't want to crank it up too much because I'm trying to talk over it. Um, okay, let's start clicking on things. 
Look and read. White gloves, shoe polish, training silverware, everything, uh, I everything an involuntary, an involuntarily aspiring butler needs. He's trying to become a butler. Interesting. You already tried tidied your butler training materials, even the ones you used to tidy the other ones. You use these to practice your budding powers of telekinesis. Still aren't very good yet, but you sure showed those spoons who's boss. Don't use your hands to bend spoons, you use the powers of imagination! By which you mean your weak, unreliable psychic powers. Okay, well, let's... Yes, that's right. Practice almost makes a Practice makes almost adequate. That's the burgundy way. You, your mind flexes with the pulsating might of your phenomenal telekinetic powers, and you bend a tiny little silver spoon without even using your little grubby fingers, big tough guy. Better bring this along, just in case you run into any bent soup. <laughs> we got a spoon in the holster. Interesting. Uh, who's this douchebag? Um... You play pusher, of course. Burgundies are ideally suited to this position because of their telekinetic powers and their ability to commune with dead players. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, that sentence... It took a sentence... It, it, it took a, se a second for that sentence to hit me, but, like... Yes, commune... <laughs> just, I'm, I'm just... Just imagining the sports scenario where it's like, like Aaron Rodgers needing to trying to win the Super Bowl, communing with the spirit of Brett Favre. <laughs> Brett Favre's not dead. Bart Starr, you know, Aaron Rodgers communing with the spirit of Bart Starr to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm I'm tickled by the scenario that just went through my head. <laughs> also, pusher is the most dangerous position, and no one really cares if Frost Bloods get killed. He's gonna begin with the billiards theme, which, you know, of course has me worried because. Okay. You know. <sighs> yeah. Got the bed. Or not the bed. You reminded of the weak, uh, time I. Uh, Denak made you sleep on the floor as a training exercise. It was hard at first, and maybe he and maybe he could have told you it was a training exercise beforehand instead of just saying, "Sleep on the floor until you tell you other until I tell you otherwise." But it really rough and toughened you up. You can sleep anywhere now. The Tetriarch is real already making sure you prepare for everything. I'm no sports ball man, so this, so that uh, description is flying right over me. Yeah, I did. That was a very uh, Wisconsin-centric um, description. So, uh, so those, so those of my fans who are actually from Wisconsin, just like are probably laughing their asses off at the uh, description I, at the at the description I just gave. Sleep. What's gonna happen? This is roughly around when you might normally be willing to sleep, but the current circumstances, i.e. your immediate death if you don't escape, are not conducive to sleep. They are condu conducive to dying, though. What situation? There's no situation yet. Your Aware Grid study scroll. To be honest, only Indigos really care about where the fork goes, and they crush anything they pick up anyway. Pretty much got this memorized already. It's like a fork, fork, mega fork, macro fork, knife fork, fool's fork. That about covers it. Um, what else have we got? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, it's your arena stickball gear. You play pusher. It brings back fond memories of your seasons playing in the Out Glub Glub League. You're trying out for the thre the Thrust Thrust Junior League soon, but you're a little rusty. <laughs> Uh, if you blow it, you could get culled. Between band, pra band practice with Tamar, uh, with Tetriarch Demac, revolutionary lectures, <laughs> revolution lectures from Tetriarch Demac, and butlering practice, you mostly serve Tetriarch Demac. You really haven't had the time to the time you need to practice. 
Speaking of, there's your brand new butler uniform. It brings back less than fond memories of when you ordered it. Sweeps ago. Delivery to Rustbloods like you is so slow. Which is really lame because Rustbloods don't live that long. Come on, guys. Get on it. And hey, there's your smash shoot from when the Tetrarch helped you practice cool action movie stunts. Your memory from that time is a little hazy, actually. Arena Stickball has always been the only time you really feel like yourself. When you're out on the velvet, you're a brawler def defending you against the opposing prowlers and zappers, and... You guess thinking about too much makes you a little sad now. Looking at the dozer always helps you get to sleep. And looking at the snow globe always makes you nervous. You know it's not a real one, but still. Is the snow globe referring to the cue ball or the eight ball? Cause... Cause like... Cause like, snow globe... Like, it's white, so you would think... Because, like, you would think that Snow Globe would refer to the cue ball because it's white. But then you think about Snowman, who was the eight ball in the felt. I don't know. Things to think about. Anyway, moving on. Over this... Is there anything else up above to click on? Not really. Uh, computer. It's your tablet. You use it for pretty much everything. Your auto, your auto tune mic is plugged into it. Mm. Oh, here's a picture of uh, him and uh, Demac, Demac. The grubbles, the grubbles, the grubbles. If you if you buck, we won't trouble it to resist throwing fists while shit while you shift through the rubble. It's sort of hard to spit your quasi revolutionary wires with any real fire while dressing your butler, butler uniforms, though. Damick says you're subversively transforming the rags of your oppression into the fatigues of the revolutionary through your jams, but you're kind of worried your performances will be drowned out by sarcastic orders to polish the silver. Some kind of checklist. It's your tablet. Use it for free. Gather both tablet and mic with one pack practice motion. They're attached, so the motion probably didn't require too much practice as you might think. You didn't proceed to have this conversation again from the other side. It's all old news to Zephyros. It's all news to Zephyros, but it'd be a little dull to read the whole thing over again. Okay, so... Oh, so we're doing that Homestuck thing again, where we are technically a few minutes in the past. <laughs> like, all of this is happening simultaneously with the stuff that we just played through. So technically we're a few minutes in the past now. This is not... Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Let's just pick up where we left off. And now we are back to the present. Do you want me to say more alien things? No, I mean, I have no way of verifying. Send me a picture. Photos, blah, blah, blah. Submit. Pictures transmit. Kind of thing. Here goes. <laughs> she is beauty. She is grace. <laughs> She, ha she does not have the greatest selfie face. Oh yeah, you're definitely an alien. Or you have some kind of straight- or you have some strange collection of grotesque physical and mental diseases. Ugh. Either way, you need my help. <laughs> Great, thanks, Zephyrus. Okay, that much is definitely true. I'm pretty sure I heard the monster searching at the, scratching at the door. He's probably hungry. Anyway, man, if you're an alien, we've got to get you out of here. The heiress hates aliens? Yeah, she does. <laughs> if she is who I think she is, fuck yeah, she does. I mean, Jesus. The heiress? Oh, uh, well, she's awful and controls everything, basically. I mean, I doubt she's ever met one. But to hear her talk, she hates aliens as much as he hates low bloods. Which I guess you all which I guess you also are. Good point. You're practicing you're practically a member of the resistance already. Uh not sure whether to be really confused or really concerned about you. 
do you need help? One time when things got really bad with my brother, or my babysitter took him to the doctor, it seemed to help. What's a brother? What's a babysitter? What's a doctor? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, it's just about the saddest thing I ever heard get said. Um. <laughs> let's go with... Let's go with what's a brother. What's a brother? Well, you are so lucky. I really don't know. Okay, I'm definitely concerned. Being concerned is what friends for each other do. Do for each other. Never had anyone but Tetrarch de Mac be concerned about my... About, about, uh, blah, blah, blah. I've never had anyone but Tetrarch de Mac be concerned about me before. Eh, good for you. Oh, jeez. I bet the other Tetrarchs will be extremely excited to hear there's an alien helping us now. Uh, sure. I'm sort of pretty focused on not being killed by the monster in the other room at the moment. That's kind of my main deal right now. I don't really have a lot of time for anything else. Right, yeah, of course. Haha, <laughs> I'll help you. And the Tetrarch too, because, well, I think... Okay, I hope this is, all help this is also helping him sometime. Which reminds me, we really shouldn't be talking like this. Like what? Tetrarch Demax says we always have to assume our communications are being monitored. And this is exactly the kind of conversation I shouldn't be having. Oh man, I better hurry up and get over there. On my way now. Please don't message me anymore. It's dangerous. BRB. In person, I mean. Maybe you'd actually have a better shot of getting on the show if you didn't use the mic the Mac made. You couldn't do that. You couldn't do that to him, though. Like, he would physically prevent you from doing that. He can be pretty forceful. <laughs> yeah, this is the troll equivalent of American Idol, I suppose. I'm sure somebody in chat can translate this and tell me what exactly this says. Probably just Alternian Idol. Uh, it just says Alternian Idol, doesn't it? Oh, look. Globe. You'll never forget the the season your arena stickball team took third place in the in the out club in the out club, club league. But just in case you do, this featureless white orb is here to remind you. Hmm. Cue ball. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's just let's get on with it. Oh yeah, it just says Alternian Idol. Yeah. This is actually a nice house. Kind of like it. That's an adorable Lucius. Haha, <laughs> he was always giving you leaves to eat. You would munch on them for his benefit, mostly. Come to think of it, though, you have always been pretty strong. Could those bitter leaves you gnawed on as a wriggler have something to do with that? Uh, it says was, so don't tell me oh, your Lucius is dead. Another semi orphan. Semi orphan to semi orphan. Mindicott feels for a hot second there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at the look at them. It's so cute. When you were just a little reeler, killed, curled up with your Lucius made you feel safe when the world seemed scary, which was often. Well, it's Alternia, so of course it felt scary. Jeez, come to think of it, the two of you haven't played on the tree in a long time. Maybe that's why he's been so lazy. Oh, he's still alive. Okay, good. Well, at least it looks like the two of you will both be gaining some exercise in the immediate future. And look, look at this. Look at this. They, they are... They are unbearably cute together. And chat's right. Uh, what's this? Clean supplies. The noble instruments of your future career, you guess? It kind of depresses you to keep them anywhere you like to have fun. So you just dump them at the end of the hallway. Maybe if your hallway is really clean, the drones will stop trying to burn your neighborhood down and kill you. Ah, oh, there's that rust blood moxie. It's just your faith in our old scr scr uh, scroundray, which you haven't bothered dragging recently. 
Inside of it, uh, rest of fluid and floor filth cluster to make a repugnant gray sludge. Of course, of course, this is Alternia, so you will not find a bucket, any a pail, anywhere among any of the clean supplies. I dare say. The door to your Lucius said, said where your Lucius sleeps. In theory. In practice, though, he sleeps wherever the hell he wants. Sometimes in a branch, sometimes in less conventional places. Less convenient places. More pictures. Dude likes to sing. I like these pictures. In contrast to the max uh, percussive machismo, your strange persona is more skittish. As if you're vaguely terrified of the implications of your own pseudo-revolutionary rhymes. Which is not far off the mark, as one of the implications could be your execution. You guys have a lot of fun in the studio, as evidenced by this candid selfie Tetraractor Mac told you to take. <laughs> this was a great night. The Mac insisted you have half the flavor disc. Your Lucius took this picture, a delightful trick he has never repeated. <laughs> I was about to ask who took the picture, but there you go. Asked and answered. Insert Christian Bell crying over sloths. I know, right? Look at you, so carefully. You wish you were geared up to play right now. You were so excited to show him that branch. He ate all the leaves in one slow, in one very slow bite, and you were left with a pretty decent hot hive-made cubat. The first Q-Bat you, you ever had, actually. That's cute. That's very, very cute. Uh, what's this? Floor cleaner. Your smear spinner has gotten a lot of use lately. Why just look at that even glisten of mucus on the floor? Beautiful. You can almost take pride in it. Something like... I actually like the quality of the uh, reflection in the uh, floor. It's a nice little animation thing. What's this? Door to your rumpus room. <laughs> of course, there's a rumpus room. Yeah, there's the place where we just saw that picture being taken. It's your sports vault. Just a huge, heavy vault themed with sports. Arena stick ball, specifically, and obviously. It's the only place in the hive you can store food for you, Lucius. He's so strong you could easily break into any other hiding place. He has a special telekinesis. It has a special telekinesis-based interface. It tends to wear you out a little, and the combination is pretty hard to remember. Probably gonna have to look up the. You can't open the sports vault with your hands. Try thinking before you act. Okay. Um. That's a rough one. It can be hard to remember the path if you're already concentrating on your shaky telekinesis. It helps if you have some kind of guide on hand. You've just got the thing. But, you've got just the thing, but uh, you don't think it's in this room. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get that to do that. Okay. Good to go. Uh, that's cool. Okay, it's a sports ball. Pause right at the height of exciting sport. Release a new arena stickball game grub like six times a sweep, and every time you buy it like a sucker, it acts surprised that nothing's different. It's like, what are they gonna do? Change the rules? Pretty busy right now. Only chumps play video games when they have obligations they should be tending to. The crest of the Alternian Pro Arena Stickball League with all 15 balls. In the real game of Arena Stickball, these are all different sizes and each have its own distinct powers. It's your Q-Bat, your most prized piece of Alternia stickball equipment. Better bring this with you. Try to Q pull the Q-Bat free, but it seems it's wedged in a little too tight. Whoops. Need to find something to help you pry it loose. <laughs> Nothing.
acting like a little recessed tabletop arena stickball with your best bud. Too bad he's not around right now. Maybe later. Seeing it's a pretty good hump steered nug bone in your day. The pusher is the only player allowed to score, so they're prime targets for the opposing defense. The helmet's so worn out that it's basically worthless, except for its sentimental value, which is still pretty low. It looks like a that looks like a vinyl pop figure. Uh, your your Zoltan Metzos bo bobble nug, nug figurine is just the jewel is the jewel of your collection. It seriously does look like it does look very specifically like a Funko Pop figure. The Thrush Thrust Snow Globes are the best team to ever play the, the lore, play the sport of lords, and it is simply all there is to say in the matter. Playing for them is your dream. The snow Globe is indeed the eighth ball. Just kind of what he was leaning towards. Was, you guess. It was your guess. I was leaning in that direction before it got confirmed. What's this? Close. No. You think you should find something to, pre to protect yourself with before descending into the violent unknown of your own hive? Preferably a weapon you know well. Okay, so let's see. How do we. I don't want you to roll this room. So we use the fuck goddamn here. Making this lock is way above your challenge rating. You should probably put your mind to figure out another way to open it. Uh, you dropped some rebellious anti-establishment rhymes about... Okay, that animation was adorable. Uh, you dropped some rebellious anti-establishment rhymes about vaults and your Lucius and some other half-formed concepts about the caste system. It's pretty solid, but the vault is not having none of it. Somebody in the room? There's another set of pictures I missed. Look at these. This is a kid. This is. Uh, the giant sloth is adorable. Um, kind of wish you could live somewhere with more trees, and maybe then he'd be less asleep always. Like most things in your life, though, you don't really have much say in the matter. Director Mac has you act, act out scenes from one of your favorite action movies, which just so happens to be his favorite action movies, too. You're lucky to have a Moira, Moira who really pushes you. Oh, so that's their relationship. Alright. Alright. This is from the 12th Paragraphs Eve with Mac, get, with, when Mac gave you the auto two mic he made. This was his way of letting you know he'd started a band and that you were the singer, and also that your voice could use a little help. You still can't believe they got a shot out of you at the exact moment you clobbered the clover. What a lucky break. <laughs> Another subtle reference that I like. Clover was a fun member of the felt. Anywho. Um... Oh, maybe there's something I missed in the room. Uh... Look, Gander. Uh... You might be able to hear my cat playing with uh, a piece of paper in the background. Bat Reich is restoring the instruments of your other failed dream. Oh, God. Uh, so, yeah, that's something I kind of glossed over with one of the other texts. Apparently, uh, there was some kind of failure with the uh, stickball thing. Let's 
Wedge the dent, the bent spoon in between the hilt and the wall, and... Hey, it worked. Got the cube out. This thing packs a wall, especially with the tip is chalked and it's... And it's carried by you. That's your cue. Look like her imperial condescension. Your imperial edict mandated portrait of the Harris, actually? Interesting. This is not Mina then. She rules your planet with a perfectly manicured golden fist. You know it's perfectly manicured because she recently issued an imperial memorandum about her new nail art. The drones outside are doing her dirty work. Have a She'll have a shiny top coat of blood after tonight. All of it's common hue. All of it common hued, you're sure? You're sure? Good. Okay. So. New theory. <laughs> this is sometime after the Summoner's Rebellion. And the heiress. Um, to her imperial condescension. Is meant to rule over Alternia in, in her stead. And Feferi was just a lot nicer about it than uh, this particular heiress. Um. We are taking new data, and we are using it. Whether... <laughs> High blood soap opera? Distracted by a cat. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on the soap opera, because that's funny. Excited there, cat? Um, as a rust blood, you're not permitted to have uh, luxurious circular discs, only the standard hexagons. These lounge planks aren't full of soap or slime or anything like that. They're just comfortable horizontal surfaces suited so to either the sitting or laying prone positions. Oh yeah, somebody pointed out that the uh, Harris's appearance is pretty is very much a reference to the "all your base is belong to us" guy from that meme. Just like look up "all your base is belong to us" if you've uh, but that yeah, you know, like if you ever looked, up, if you ever like seen a picture of that guy, which you don't do very often, because usually that meme is uh, usually you just hear the text of that meme and you don't see the picture that goes along with it. Right? Yeah. Where are you going? I have turned into an obstacle course for the cat. Hang on, he just lost one of his toys. So yeah. <laughs> yes, very ancient video game meme. And here's my Lucius. Always useful in case you need to whip up a souffle. You're bad at that, but it's a mandatory part of your future job, so... Let's see. Can, can you hear the cat rustling with the paper in the background? He's not right now, but <laughs> before he was. Cake. Leftover from Demac's early Wriggling Day party. He doesn't turn. He doesn't turn seven sweeps old for a couple of of wipes. So the sweep is too, what's a wipe? That's a new one. Uh, but you wanted to celebrate him before his rites of maturation. Is a wipe like the equivalent of a week then? 
probably not literally a week, but it's probably somewhere in that ballpark, time-wise. That would be my guess. Ugh, these are still in here. Bioslaw really doesn't keep well. Eggs. Eating an unranged cluck beast ova is a great way to fill your acid tubes with horrifying parasites, who probably won't, won't get along with your benevolent parasites, or your benign parasites. Grub juice hydration cylinders. Inside these cylindrical containers is grub juice, which can be used for hydration and restoring reserves of psychic power. Grab them. Um, pick them up. Nice! Now if you need a quick, re quick restorative for your psychic stamina, you'll have just that in your hand, instead of not having it, like some kind of chump. Sometimes when you're feeling especially rebellious, you wish all the good toppings weren't preserved for high bloods. High blood pizza toppings. This is an interesting concept. Seven sweeps is 15 months, two years, if anyone's wondering. Yeah, I was about to say, it's like that's... Seven sweeps is like roughly 15 or 16. Between 15 and 16. Probably about the same age that the uh, before in Trolls um, were uh, when they started playing the game. Your spice rack! It's where you keep your spices. Your glub slurry agitator is nice for when you just want to throw some unagitated glub slurry into the agitated re receptive receptivist and enjoy some slub some slub grub slurry that's been thoroughly agitated. Don't currently have any unagitated slub grub slurry that needs agitating in your glub slurry agitator. Whenever you do, though, you always know right where to go. Right, right, right to go. And what's this? A playbook for the burgundy blood pusher position in Arena Stickball. You still have dreams of being a star pusher, and some of these killer plays was going to help take you to that top. But you play in the field, but, the, but your play in the field never quite lived up to the athletic promise of your fantasies. Ah, also, the closer your rights maturation get, the more the sobering rally sinks in that you'll never get to play professionally. Life of butlering, here you come, you guys. Now well, let's take it anyway. Pick up the pusher playbook. Now, if a situation arises where you need to remember a particular play, you'll be well equipped to do so. You resolve to keep an eye out for just such a contrivance. I'm sure some one will come up, since we were allowed to pick that up. Look at that! It's nearly escaped from your impending death o'clock. You better not be late. Shigeris. Um, hmm. Looks. Exit. Lucius, it's up on you. Ah, dang it. Your Lucius is sleeping somewhere totally inconvenient again. Come on, wake up. Uh. <laughs> Yep, yep, sure. That's that's the name. <sighs> well, it's gotta be a three-letter name. So I'm gonna go with. Go with Bud. Bud is in the way again for a change. Just keeping things interesting, you guess. Name it Verska. Now I'm, I'm sticking with a three-letter name and keeping with the with the Guardian theme. Move. Bud, move. You ask Bud to move. <laughs> and at first you're friendly and casual, as if you expect him to move easily. Then you try being polite, but a little distant. Tone becomes annoyed, then firm, followed by stern, finally shifting to angered. <laughs> Nothing works, you just can't reach him lately. The only thing Bud seems to care about are sloth treats. Alright, well we gotta find those. Can't leave. Can't do that. Um, ba -ba -ba, to protect you from danger by blocking the doorway. Good dad, best sloth. <laughs> Either that or he just fell asleep there. 
Okay, so we gotta hunt for doggy treats. Sloth treats. Eh. From the, from the uh, chat. In my game, I named him Avocado, because one of the few things I know about giant brown sloths is that they ate avocados. Interesting. Okay. Got a couple of new items. Oh, my mouse is being a little jittery all of a sudden. Um, can we go out this door? If went out this way, you'd be easy prey for a drone before you could ever make it to to the max. You mean save Joey? That's that's what you mean. Hmm. Let's see. Warp speed. Uh, is Minda going to check out the extended Zodiac? Yes, I did. I, uh, I've been browsing it here and there. Um, maybe this will work. Get the sloth treats. What a trial that was. Lucky he's such. A, luckily he has such a slow metabolism. Grab the sloth treats. You know just what to do with these. Indeed I do. Treat time. Afraid to look up the achievements because that's probably going to give me a clue as to how far into the game I've gotten. Uh, Got just the thing to get him moving. Here you go, bud. That is another good name for this guy. What? That just poured it in out of nowhere. Looks like it might be some kind of software box. Yeah, it came in via First Guardian. Hmm. That's... Uh, yep, that's... That's who, that's who I thought we were dealing with. All right. Okay. 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 Well. Well, Doc. Thanks for uh. Scratch were received. All future messages to and from this device are protected from third-party surveillance. Thank you, Doc. I don't trust you at all. But thank you. I mean, maybe. Maybe it's free from all third party per per It's like, yeah, yeah, the omnipotent, or not omnipotent, the omnipresent guy insists that this device is free of surveillance. Mr. Can Mr. All Knowing, All Seeing, well, almost all knowing, all seeing, is promising me surveillance free communication. Oh, yeah, I, I totally trust this. <sighs> okay. When the R, when the L R L, when the L R R streamers got to this point, the guy who was into home stuff noped clear out of the room when this happened. <laughs> yeah, I can, I believe. Yeah, that's, that's, 
that's the correct response. Again, that's that's another like homestuck versus not homestuck reaction. Like the non homestucks are just like, oh, isn't this convenient? What a nice, what a nice, what a nice person who just dropped this for me. I'm so glad they're here to help me. And meanwhile, the homestucks are like, fuck, what? What's your game, Doc? What is your game? As a special one-time offer, all past communications are protected as well. Do you agree that you are already subject to the terms of her services? I'm, va I'm vaguely unsettled by all of this. Uh, what the? Oh. Hello. Well, that's... Well, that's shitty. Now what? Um... Probably, what? 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 Glowing generic object? What? Hello? Hey, Joey. It's Joey, right? Yes, that's right. And you're Xerox. Because you know I'm Zephyros. Oh, oops. Are you okay? What's going on? I thought you, we weren't supposed to talk. Yeah, something weird happened, though. I think it's safe now. What do you mean? Real quick. Do you have a green and white symbol on your chat window now? Um... Oh, hey, yeah, that wasn't there before. Oh, it's this thing. Okay, I think we're safe then. To chat, anyway. Okay, good. Good. I don't quite get what the danger is, but... I guess I'm going to need you to trust you if I have any hope of getting out of here. The fact that Doc Scratch is involving himself in these events bodes very ill. Yes, yes it does, chat. Yes, it fucking does. Um... Well, um, some bad news on that front. A missile hit my hive, and I'm buried, I'm buried under the debris in my long ring. A missile buried? Long ring? Let's go with buried. I know what it's like. Joey asking what... Joey would ask what a long ring is, but it doesn't matter. Ah, this must be some definition of the word safe I wasn't previously aware of. <laughs> buried? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I think so. I can't really move, and my body hurts a lot, and I'm kind of worried one of these drones is going to swoop down and finish me off. That's not okay at all. This must be... This must be some other definition of the word safe I was previously unaware of. You need help way more than I do right now. I don't want to be a bother. But I was about to say something to, the, to that effect. To those effects. Or, I mean... I was going to say I'm sorry I can't help you anymore. And we're both stuck waiting to find out if the flames or the drones will reach us first. Nuts to that! I'm gonna save you! Yeah! Go, Joey! Aren't you stuck? <laughs> yes. Aren't you stuck in my friend's home? <laughs> I was, but that missile knocked some boxes over and I don't think I could have moved on my own. So in a weird way, it kind of helped. How serendipitous. Yeah, they were blocking the vent shaft. I'm going to climb up there and see where it leads. Wow, you're... Kind of like a real-life action hero. Yeah, she is! It's always awesome. Ah, shucks. I want to help you the way you are going to help me. And you and you were putting yourself at a lot more risk than I realized. I repeat. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask, what the heck does that mean? Oh, you can use letters and numbers to make a little face. Tetractomac told me that he likes it when I smile. We have those where I'm from, but I don't know what the X means. Oh, those are my horns. Your horns? Of course, Doc's... Of course, Doc Scratch would involve himself immediately after a young girl came to the planet. Oh. No. That's... It's too real. Those are my horns. Your horns? Yeah. Like the guy on the screensaver? I think so. That's probably not me, though. But those are real? Um, do you not have horns? I thought they were out of frame. No, I don't have horns. Jeez, what a question. That's so weird. And cool. You really are an alien. Never thought I'd meet one. Well, today's your lucky day. Or, I mean, it really seems to not be that, but you understand what I'm going for here. 
I think so, yeah. I'll be here I'll be there as quick as I can, so apply pressure to the wounds and try not to move too much. It's okay. The weight of the rubble crushing my body is pressing down on my runes and preventing me from moving at all. Ah! How, how lucky. Man, Xerox. Buddy. <laughs> we really gotta work on your concept of what's okay. Uh-oh. That's um, the... The uh, trident, right, that was just flashing on screen for a second there was kind of ominous. Uh, okay. Alright, let's crawl through the vent. Faster, faster. Hey, I made it through the vent shaft. Wow, that's pretty exceptional. Oh my gosh, thank you. It was a little creepy, and in retrospect, fairly dangerous. Well, yeah. Or shall I say it was more dangerous than I expected? Well, um, I'd rather you didn't, honestly. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, but... Typing quirks are sort of... I notice you don't really have one, but, um... They're kind of a thing that's exclusive to you, you know? It's okay if they're occasionally used by someone you're close to. No offense, but I don't really know you that well yet. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sorry. It's so weird, like, at this stage in... In Homestuck, seeing, seeing somebody... Learn the rules of troll typing quirks. You say, well, I'm sorry. I will know better from now on. Nah, I'm probably being weird about it. I'm sorry. You had no way of knowing. So, after all, it's okay to tell people when they do something that bothers you. Bear to express how you feel and sit on it forever while the other person has no idea. What kind of foundation for a friendship would that be? Oh. Yeah, you're right. By the way, how much rubble are you covered in exactly? Not really sure how I'm going to get you out of there. Well, that won't be too hard if you can find my hover pad. It's around there somewhere. Ugh, I use it to move my Lucius around, but uh, Tetriac the Mac used, borrowed it. <laughs> God help us when somebody has to explain, co explain cod quadrants. To move some... To move... Anyway. Uh, Demac, you borrowed it to move some guns, I think. Or maybe his drums. Oh, bad timing. Haha. <laughs> well, I mean, that was a couple sweeps ago. So I guess that's pretty much his now. You know what they say, your hive is my hive. <laughs> yeah, now chat's going like, God help us if somebody has to explain quadrants. Would Hussy do that? Would Hussy explain co quadrants again? Yes. Yes, he would. <laughs> uh, actually, that's mostly what the Tetrarch says as he's taking my stuff. Okay, that's nice, but where is this hover pad exactly? Oh, right, sorry. It's fine, I don't want, to, want it to bleed to death or anything, or whatever typing. I think it's probably still in the Tetrarch's loft above, 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 his, uh, above his room, above his bedroom. Nope. Troll words are fun. Troll words are fun and all, but I've been talking for four hours. <laughs> Do you know where you are, right? Do you know where you are now? Not really, but there's a ton of guns. It's filthy in here. It's kind of dark and creepy. There's a ton of guns. I don't want to make you anxious, but that describes um every block in the in the Tetrax tri uh hive. Great. I'll message you when I've made some more progress, I suppose. Yeah, okay. I think I'm about to pass out from blood loss, so I'm gonna chill out for a little while. Hang in there, I'll find that hover pad soon. Alright, what do we got here? What's this? Some kind of big, weird book. 
You pick up, you pick up, let's see, it looks like this is a big book of beasts. You flip through, glimpsing tons of monsters in various levels of weird, cute, scary, and spectacular. You can use this to learn more about the weird alien life on this weird alien planet. Neat. Is there a way to study it? Pick a page at random and accidentally spend a few minutes reading about Muscle Beast Pectoral Tuminance. Maybe you should just use it, use this on Lucius's that you actually encounter. Also, you hope you never encounter that one. What's, what the hell is this? This is, this is like a... It's like a picture of a... Picture of a troll being abducted by space saucer aliens. Interesting. Um, all the different ways Joey can say she's not going to equip the guns is fun and all, but I think that's enough of that. I think we've done that enough for one stream. This is interesting. Is this like... Is this the Tetrax Dancester? Or is this somebody he, insp he aspires to be, anyway? These movies kind of look like not your thing, really. No judgment, you just don't want these posters at all. This looks like the Die Hard cover. Um... Well, alright! <laughs> Best case scenario, these grotesque sack of goo is some sort of alien bathtub that someone forgot to drain. Worst case scenario, it's an extremely poisonous toilet. <laughs> Steer clear. You aren't going anywhere near Namax Clawed Toilet or whatever this is. Maybe it's the egg he hatched out of? It's gross is what it is. Pretty sure all the movies are references to real movies. Well, of course they are. That's, that's kind of how mo uh, troll movie posters go. Okay, this says click, but it's not clicking. Mm. This desk is in pretty lousy shape on account of the guns piled on top of it. If you need to get any last minute paperwork done, look elsewhere. Mm. What's this? This looks like some kind of safe, I guess? Hard to be sure given your current surroundings, but it seems to fit the usual profile. The Max seems pretty paranoid, and if you could crack the safe, it probably wouldn't be uh, safe to do so. There's the vent I just came out of. Let's put the air vent. Previously we purchased as a human vent. That also deals in air. Eh. Judge Dredd. Nice. This beautiful deer cat looks like the deer cat. But, um, are they common here or something? Well, McGruff the, the crime dog has never explicitly covered this in any of his safety lectures. He probably shouldn't try to climb a pile of guns. There's a big hole. Pretty solid looking door. Hopefully there's a way to open it. You're feeling a little boxed in. No dice. You got the dial of power, maybe? Okay, uh, uh, power. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> just no. Uh, her, Big messy pile of weapons and percussion instruments it is really hampering your ability to get use those stairs. Okay, well let's do the usual thing. Haha, <laughs> this pile looks a little more volatile than cardboard box than the cardboard box variety you're used to. I think maybe you should look for another way to move it. <laughs> like one that isn't you standing next to a pile of probably loaded guns and stomping your feet a lot. Okay, so how do we move it? Um Stairs. You're graceful, but this is just incredibly dangerous. Between the pile of death and the pile of death, it's way too risky. The pile of death and the pit of death, it's way too risky. Um, hmm. Let's see. 
Drop a couple of E-cell batteries into the panel, nothing happens. Yes, the technology isn't compatible. Thing? Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that works. Cool. That was a cute little animation too. Uh -oh. Hey. Hi, Joey. How's it going? Not great. I accidentally put everything on lockdown. Maybe it was in lockdown before and I suddenly got past one door. That's probably it. The Tetriarch has extremely high security. What's the deal? Is he always par is he really paranoid? Is your planet really dangerous? Both. Um, it must be if everyone's house is full of guns. Actually, my hive is pretty different. It's a lot cleaner, for one thing. And it has a tree growing, growing in it for my Lucius. And there's no guns. That sounds really nice. It is interesting that it's like... The way everything kind of rhymes with these two pairs of characters, you know, Zephyros has got a tree, uh, Jude has got a tree house. Anyway. Sounds really nice. Let's see if it needs so many guns for anyway. Well, I guess it's okay to tell you since you're another rust blood, but don't tell anyone else. It's a major secret. I don't know a single other person on your entire planet. Oh, right. <laughs> Okay, but, um, yeah. So, we're rebelling. <laughs> it's okay, you can take a minute. I know it's a lot to process. Rebelling against what? The man? The... Hmm? No, the heiress is a girl. Why'd you have to say that with that text? Oh, um, right, you're an alien. Okay. Some context. The Harris is a murdering tyrant who holds our whole our whole planet in her wicked ty finny fist. Finny? Yeah, she's a sea dweller. And a fuchsia blood? One of the only two. The other one... Well, she's really far away all the time, leading the conquest of other galaxies or whatever. Which is lucky for us, because she's incredibly powerful. Not so lucky for the people on the other galaxies, though. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's true. But anyway, the heiress is enough to deal with. The other Highbloods follow her, and of course she has her has her drone army. Well, of course, ain't that always just the way? <laughs> yeah. I was kidding, I don't know what Highbloods or drone armies or anything are. I had to be all, hi, I'm new here on your planet. Can you gradually bring me up to speed on literally everything? Watch in amazement as I stun you with my penetrating cluelessness. Feast your eyes on my badly executed jokes. <laughs> you pretty got beat about all this. I think I was suddenly shot across the galaxy. I think if I was suddenly shot across the galaxy or whatever, I'd be flipping out. Aren't you currently bleeding out under a ton of rocks? <laughs> I guess so. It's kind of annoying to have no idea what's going on. Okay, well, the drones are things that are, are the things flying around outside. They'll take us into custody if they see us, assuming they don't kill us outright by firing missiles into our bodies until we're dead. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well. A lot of that can wait until we get you to safety. <laughs> I'm gonna go find your hover pad now. Talk to you soon. It's a living. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Let's see, where does this lead? <laughs> so here's that harpoon that's sticking through the door. Uh oh. That looks like a bloodstained handprint right there. That's not good. I noticed this from the outside earlier, but uh, yeah. This door is pretty intimidating. The spear sticking through it managed to be significantly more intimidating. Whoever threw that spear is definitely the most intimidating, though, so it's a good thing they don't seem to be around. Did you not look at this door before trying that? It's insanely dangerous out there. If you want to make a run for it across the street, you'd better be fast. What's over here? The feed on the top TV monitor looks like the room you were in a moment ago. It's weird to see it from this perspective, though. 
Also, the room looks significantly different than you remember. The left one seems to be an error message, but you don't recognize the other two at all. Wait, is that Zephros in the bottom one? This big monster parent thing is helping him out, and, uh, that's, a uh, hmm. You're supremely creeped out. Yeah, well, so it looks like that. Looks like a sloth dad is helping him out there, so that's nice. It would be kind of hilarious if, at the end of all this, we finally get to Zavros and Sloth Dad has already taken care of. He's already taken care of the problem. Uh, actually, I think there was something else to click there. Um, no, no, there wasn't. Let's see. You assume this is a trophy for the best Terra Cat Menace Fawn Brash Thought Breath. Rush Bronco and show. Posters. This imagery is completely opaque to you. It must have some deep, some sort of deep cultural significance to the inhabitants of this world. Yes, cute little movie poster. What's this do? Oh! Interesting. <laughs> you can try, but it's too heavy. Bud is working on it, but at the rate he's going, it might be you. It might be old, old age that does you in. Okay, so that's... So that's good to know that that's a feature we can do. Um, the computer! You wonder if the Mac ever makes his own video games as a means of hashing out his own his problems, like Clarice does. Clarice is so cool. Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. Who locks the door to their kitchen? Is he worried somebody's gonna steal his... Okay, there's just... there's no way he eats bugs, right? Alright. This hole is where you... So is what you get when you build an elevator into your house while at the same time not caring if people fall down holes. The platform is down in the basement. You can still hear the sound of the wild animal below. Mm. Oh, gross. Somebody left food out and a big bug got into it. Or or he eats bugs. Also, that's all here. Oh, anyone here eats? You really, really wish you'd eaten something before you got here. Ugh. No kidding. This game controller looks really weird. Must be third party. <laughs> if Jude were here, this is the one you'd make him use. <sighs> the weird M-shaped controller with joystick and D-pad. Don't love it. <laughs> you prefer the austere elegance of your con of your console's controllers. Yeah, what kind of weirdo would make an M-shaped controller? Come to think of it. Wasn't the N64 already out by 1994? Was it a little later than that? Or was it a couple years after that that it came out? Uh, if it wasn't out yet, it was right around the corner. Cutting back to Zephros for just a second there was the video game version of that of when Homestuck cut back to John for one panel during Rose's part of Act 1. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I didn't even do I'm making Homestuck references without even trying to. Okay. So, um... Are you spooked by the one downstairs? So you're, uh, you don't want to agitate the statue. No, it's dumb, but it's just really rather dumb. The Mac has gone back and forth between the Grubbles and the Grubbles several times. The Grubbles seems to be the current favorite, though, at least until he crosses it out and writes the uh, the other one beneath it. Okay. So is that the password? Okay. Uh, hmm. 
Let's see, what have we got? got? Some pogs, batteries, spice, pigeon. Oh, hey, the tablet's doing the thing again. Xerox there. Yeah, I fucked it up. I was supposed to actually enter the pass. I was supposed to actually look and enter the password. Uh, Xerox, you there? Can't really go anywhere else with the debris slowly crushing my body. Oof, I'm sorry. It's okay. It doesn't sound okay. Try not to move too much. Okay, I'll try. I'm going to, uh, pass out a little now. Wait, real quick. I'm having trouble with this security puzzle. You should, uh, you can come on. I solved the one in the basement, no sweat, but this one seems kind of different. Security puzzle. Oh, you mean the serpent ROM that uh, Demac rigged up uh, to his power hexagrid? I wouldn't have used those words, but if you think that's what I'm talking about, it probably is. Nineteen ninety-six is when the N sixty-four came out, so yeah, it's Joey does not know about the uh, wacky M-shaped controller of the N sixty-four. Good to know. There's another one. Different one. I think so. The start screen is different anyway. The power is still on, so I don't know what it would be connected to. It's high of security, probably. I was tinkering with it to make it more complex. Yeah, for the one in the basement, I only had to eat the letters. But now they are different. There are different letters to eat, but I don't know what letters to eat, if that makes sense. It's probably XXX. It's probably XXXXX. Oh, really? No, wait, sorry, I meant... Yeah, I got it. No, that's not it. What? I'm typing it in, but it keeps getting changed to a bunch of X's. Maybe it's that new security software I installed? It must stop me from posting my password to the chat. Really? Let me try. <laughs> Mrs. Taylor Thomas 80? Can you see that? Mrs. Ta Mrs. Taylor Thomas 80. Oh my god! What's that? No! Don't make it would turn into X symbols! Well, you're using the, tre the Tetriox tablet. It wouldn't know your password. Can't believe I did that. Sorry, I'm going home. I can never show my face on this planet again. Mrs. Taylor Thomas seems like such a nice, clever password. I never, I ne I never guessed that. You must be really smart, Jelly. <laughs> no, apparently I'm stupid, stupid. <laughs> What's so embarrassing about it? Everybody makes mistakes. It's just... Well, I guess it's the name of a boy I like. Really? Don't tell anyone, but that's my password, too. I call shenanigans. Tailored... A human with a troll name? <laughs> that... Taylor Thomas... This might be the first recorded instance in all of Homestuck canon of a human with a 6-6 six -six name? <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but that's my pet. Well, my password is too. Do you have a girl you like? Oh no, it's a boy. For some reason, I thought you were a boy this whole time. I am. Oh. Huh. So I'm not to rush you or anything, but I'm still dying under rocks. About the security console. Jonathan Taylor Thomas from Home Improvement in the Lion King. Okay, okay. yeah. Good. About the security console. Um. Yeah, about that. Can you, like, give me a hint? It's the name of, your ba of our band, but there's a couple different ways to spell it. That's pretty weird. Yeah, we keep going back and forth between the blank and the blank. Yeah, I saw that right. I actually don't know which one it is right now. Well, I'll scout around and see if I can find something. 
Now they have written it down somewhere, right? Uh, I hope so. Then they conserve my strength a little bit, maybe. Getting uh, getting kind of dead. Uh, hang in there. I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay. Oh, yeah, the tablet's doing its thing. So I'm going to assume that this up here in the corner is it. Oops. Um, no, it's not. Um, yeah, Andrew Housey is a 6 6 name. That is true. So I guess that. And since he is a character in Homestuck, I guess he technically counts? Um. to like write this shit down so like I'm gonna do that just in case it's there. Don't mind me, I'm just writing down That should do. Um, whoops. <laughs> We got this. Okay, go. Go! What do I do? Do I switch to the other... <laughs> Neither of those symbols even appear in the name anywhere. Press to like switch snakes and get to the right thing. Or is it supposed to, or is that symbol supposed to be it? It looks really weird though. Okay, I guess that was it. It just didn't look at all like just didn't look anything at all like how it looks in the paper. has shitty handwriting. Okay. Oh, ah. It was finally there and I just screwed up the game.
It's just the handwriting. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, so this took like five minutes longer than it needed to because Dem Demic has shitty handwriting. That's just a word of warning to those of you who play this game by themselves in the future. Swat comes packed full of incredible uh, incredible puzzles, including doing a teacher's job of deciphering bad handwriting. Oh, wait, shit, what? I was reading chat while stuff was happening. <laughs> well, I figured out the game, but the monster chased me into, uh... I'm fairly confident this is a kitchen? Now's the time to save so that we never have to do that again. Yeah. Fair point. It's really gross, but anyway, keeping you informed. Monster? Wait, sorry, I'm a little woozy. The deer cat. Oh yeah, now I remember. The Tetrax Lucius. Okay, sure. Hey, maybe we, while we have a second, maybe you can fill me in on what that means. What what means? What's a Lucius? Wow. What? That's... <laughs> Reversal! <laughs> it's the perfect reversal of the original quote, too. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. It's the perfect reversal. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, Zephros is Troll Dave. <laughs> Oh, fan. Fan. Fucking. Tastic. Oh. What's a Lucius? Wow. I'm gonna screen cap this for later. <laughs> there. There. Oh. Print screen. Oh. Bloody perfect. That's just about the saddest thing I ever heard get said. <laughs> yeah, cultural differences, etc., etc. Can you bring me up to speed on what the wild beasts uh, uh, up to speed on this wild beast stalking me? Why does the Mac even have a crazy cat monster in his house? Well, it's not usually crazy. The Lucius takes care of you, protects you from wild monsters, and also dying from like whatever, you know. I guess mine's not too good at that since I'm being... Since I'm still being crushed by heavy debris. I... Not really? Are they all, um... Beasts? Well, yeah, what else would they be? And they're always this rambunctious? I mean, it seems like it'd be pretty crazy if everyone in their house had their own rip-snorting monster. What's a family? <laughs> <laughs> it's some adults and their kids. Or one adult and some kids. Or some kids and their babysitter and the conspicuous absence of a father who isn't garbage? Adults? Yeah, why? Adults live on your planet? Okay, so we are definitely in a post... post-HIC, uh... ascension. Yeah, of course. Is that not where they live? For you? For your adults? Sorry, this is somehow the weirdest thing you've said yet. Once you come of age, you get sent off-planet for your ordeals. And that's it? Nobody ever comes back? Ever? No exceptions. There are no adults on Alternia. I think this might be another wow when an alien conversation better save for when you're not pinned under a bunch of rocks. Probably. I'm gonna have to rest in a second. 
Oh well, I'm gonna focus on finding the hover pad. I'll let you know when I do. Thanks, Joey. I'm gonna focus on maintaining consciousness, I think. Good plan. Stay, uh, stay alive. Um, kid power! Oh, jeez, that was awful. Sorry. Bye. Okay, so, it is currently midnight. We've been going for about three and a half hours. I'm getting a little tired. Um, so I think this is a good time to save and quit. Oh, hey, the UI changed now that we're on Alternia. Um, so yeah, and this seems like a good break point. We have, we have solved puzzles, and, I, and we have, we have a ways to go, but that's where I'm going to call it a night, I think. So this has been a lot of fun. Um, the next uh, stream of this will be on Thursday night, probably about the same time. When will this be on YouTube? Uh, as soon as I upload it. I'm just going to be uploading all three of the... I'm going to be uploading this uh, stream in three parts uh, tonight. Um, and so... Okay, so I'm going to be uploading the stream in three parts tonight. And then Thursday, 7 p.m. Central, is when we will continue. Um, oof. Why is everyone saying oof? Troll Texan. <laughs> um, anyway. Okay, so. Uh, that is the stream for tonight. And, um, I will see you on Thursday night for the continuation of this game. Oh, also, uh, tomorrow night, um, probably starting at midnight, um, I will be live blogging another episode of Adventure Time. Uh, so that'll be great fun. Uh, for those of you who follow me over on, uh, Tumblr. I prefer Friend Sim. Indeed. Uh, friends him will be coming uh, much later, though. So, all right, that is that's the end of the night. Uh, pause for the official end of the game break. All right, bye bye everybody, and good night. <laughs>